Hello everyone, it's Agnes coming to you with the Macrame Angel. Are you ready to make one with me? So as you can see is I do have just about 15 pieces of each uh, uh, cord, uh, macrame cord cut out. One is the uh, around 12 inches, the longer one, then you have around 15 of the uh, um, a six inch um, length uh, pieces of the cord. So now I'm just, I took one of them, divided in, you know, separated, and of course, threaded through my um, wooden bead that's going to be actually our um, angel head. So now it's time to make some sort of a hair. So I'm going to put the longer pieces on the side and grab, I would say, five, six, depending how full of a hair you wanted to get um, uh, pieces of. Um, six inch uh, macrame cord we just prepared so all what i'm doing right now is just separating them um into you know i think thirds or fourths depending how uh, little you want it to get and um i'm just going to leave it at that i'm not going to really use my comb yet it's just simply because i do want it to see how my angel personality is going to come out so i'm just going to leave it just untied a little bit and obviously the amount of that is depending on how uh, full of a hair you want so now i do have like i said around five Five pieces separated and I'm pulling it from the top of the loop um, right in the middle of my wooden bead we just threaded see and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a knot to make sure that the hair is some kind of secured right on the top of my wooden bead yes you can hot glue it but you know what that can be done later so now because obviously we need to adjust here and there so now i'm going to tie another knot right underneath her um underneath the wooden bead to make sure that my head is going to nowhere so now that portion is done we can put it to the side and move on on the uh, uh chest portion of my our angel so now i would like to take um a longer piece one piece and then a, a shorter one and then just create the loop um, over my um, just like that see I'm putting the um, the loop right underneath and then when I'm pulling it I'm trying to make sure that those two little pieces are going right under in between see just like that I hope it's clear I'm intentionally doing it slower so you can see it so though those little cords that we just pulled are going to be our um, angel uh, legs so now of course now we need to thread something for the wing so my goal here is is to sort of create a loops like you would be making it for your tassel and my goal here is to create three of the rounded loops um, on each end and then when you do have them and they don't have to be perfect it's actually good when they are different length so now i'm just going to cut the ends and take another piece of the uh, macrame cord and secure this but pay attention how am i going to secure this you can at this point cut the pieces also so it's easier later to recognize what portion of the uh, cord is making what so now look what i do i just put a piece um, on the side hold it with my thumb and i'm just going to wrap the piece with the little loop that my thumb is creating in which I'm going to pull the, um, you know, the thread right there. And now I'm going to go back and just pull it out and I'm creating underneath my little, um, you know, uh, wrappings and knot. So um, I have, again, no idea how to name this. It's just sort of, I just know how to do this. So now I'm going to, uh, again, since I am okay uh, cutting those um, ending pieces, because the only thing that I do want it to have exposed are the loops. Okay, so they are cut and now it's time to thread them underneath that little loop that we created. So now look what happens. It sort of create like, um, uh, suspenders right there so you do want it to spread it out and make sure that uh, your little uh, loop that we created earlier for the arms is holding it nicely together so now we do have the wings we do have on the side the hands but they are actually not formed yet they just flying away over there do you see the angel body I hope you do so now it's time to create the uh, the bottom portion so now I have eight pieces 
of the 12 inch macrame cord that I'm going to, I divide it into groups of four that I'm going to simply separate it. And of course, I'm going to do the same thing as I've done with the hair. And I do wanted to make sure that those groupings are on a, on a different side. So I'm intentionally um, speeding this portion of the video. Obviously, I'm not going to take you through the whole thing, but that's how I do it. And of course, I am going this time brush a little bit my cord. It will be later um, easier to install. So I'm just brushing it a little bit. Not, you know, it, it all depends. You can you can completely brush it off and make it super fluffy. I'm not here. I do like to have that little curl and I do actually like to have that little mess into the body because I feel like it brings the character, but this is up to you. Okay, so my groupings are done. Now it's time to bring the, uh, the body. And of course, um, connect our body first to um, its head. So here I go. I do have those little loops. So now I'm going to put it right in the middle. And remember, and I'm going to just simply put it over and tie it right underneath the chest. And uh, this cord is actually super slow, I mean, super short. So that's actually going to blend with the body. So I'm trying to make sure that it's really tight. Here we go, it's done. And every single time you move, you gotta make sure that you follow your feet and your arms. So here I go. So now I take my um, groupings of four, separated and brushed, and I'm just going to wrap over one side of my angel, just like that. And I'm going to make sure that it's nice and at least um, uniform right on the top. Then I'm going to grab it and take another grouping of four and I'm going to do it on the other side. And sometimes you could do it straight. Sometimes you can create a little um, cross on it. I mean, it's all up to you, but you do want it to keep it as close as you can and as organized in that portion. Obviously later you can pull it and stretch it and that's what I'm going to most likely do. But now look, we already have it, have the body. So now we're taking a longer piece of another cord. You could use the separated ones. And now we're going to, oh, see here, I'm still adding the piece that I left it down there. It takes a little while. There's no rush in angel making. You just gotta have um, patience here. So now I'm going to take again um, another cord and I'm going to do the same thing as I've done when I was making the wings. I'm going to create the same knot. So now look, putting my cord, holding with my thumb, and I'm just wrapping it all around. And you wrap as many times or as little time as little times as you want. But as you wrap, you gotta make sure that you do not wrap your hands in it, because you know we are holding legs right now. I so hope that after you watch this video, you are going to make one. And of course, you do not need to have a macrame. You can use the yarn. I so want you to make it. I'm putting so much effort here to make this video shorter. I mean, longer with the small, slower moves for you to see. So as you notice, I was happy. I pulled it through with um, the ending. And now look, I'm pulling it cutting it on the side and now all of it is completely squeezed right underneath and yes you could do this wrapping right on the back so it doesn't show but or you can just simply pull it under okay so now it's time to brush up a little bit the hair i don't want to be too fluffy i still want to see the little curl <laughs> it's so funny to do it and now it's time to tie it a little bit um, on the back and of course do your adjustments you do want to have a broader shoulder, shoulders, smaller shoulders, it's up to you. Of course, you do not want to have the, um, you know, opening where the um, cord is missing. So I'm brushing it a little bit and then I'm going to just simply tie it loosely right on the bottom. You don't have to cut it. You could actually hot glue it right on the back and have that move but it's going to be tight. So you can use the twine or you can use like me, a piece of the macrame cord. And then obviously we are going to do something to um, her hair. Obviously add some glue, hot glue here and there, form the face. You can loop it. I mean, depending on um, what your likings are. So here we go. I'm going to leave it the way it is, just trying to make sure that I do not have that opening. Okay, so now let's move on to um, the portion of um, the, the arms and the legs. Oh, no, I guess I'm going to put the little crown in there. You could put the halo, but obviously I'm in the crown. So do you see now 
we do have um, arms that I'm going to tie the knots right at the end, double knots, and then I'm going to cut the, the end of it. And of course, I do have the legs someplace um, in, in, you know, on the bottom that I'm going to also tie uh, the knots. You could have the legs exposed as I'm going to show you in the other angel that I just made, or you can just leave it um, hidden right into her dress. Oh man, I just started my angel journey and I will be making a lot of them all over again like I did exactly um, last year. So for this angel, what I like to do is I do like to keep her legs hidden as I mentioned. And now look, this little guy right there has the legs exposed. So it's up to you how you want to make it. You can make the whole family. And now look at those pretty angel ornaments that we just made. So here is the closer picture to of the angel and of course for the wings you could use the hairspray to keep them higher you could use the mat patch just takes a little while but i've absolutely love it and i really truly hope that you are going to be making one um, for yourself and you're going to be sharing the pictures this is this is you know making the videos this is all about so it's again thanks for watching and i really hope that if you did enjoy you're going sprinkled out for me or are you going to tag a friend in a comment? So it's again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.